This is a five-star dog club with a gym, cinema, and beauty salon where dogs can freely and satisfactorily enjoy a variety of entertainment services. The club was built by a pair of orphan siblings, accompanied by a dog named Friday, who has always been by their side. The trio begins their daily routine with Friday being tethered outside a store, waiting for the siblings to return from their schemes. James usually goes to the restroom, skillfully placing a pebble inside a brand new phone box and wrapping it with plastic film using a hand dryer. Afterward, he swiftly hands it over to his sister, Andy. She enters a pawn shop and uses it to swindle money. Meanwhile, Friday grows increasingly hungry while waiting outside. Suddenly, he catches the aroma of a hot dog from afar and breaks free from his leash to reach the food. Friday manages to outsmart the man and snatches the food away. Upon hearing his owners returning, Friday hurriedly gets back in place and picks up his leash, pretending that he has been patiently waiting for their return. The siblings use the money they swindled to buy food for Friday, as the dog has quite the appetite. Suddenly, Andy spots the pawn shop owner and the police looking for her. She hurriedly tells James and Friday to hide, but the boy is caught on the spot, and they both end up in the police office. A few hours later, the social service officer, Rooney, arrives to pick them up and scolds them for their rebellious behavior. It's tough to find a foster family for children their age, especially for two siblings who are determined to stay together. Upon returning home, their foster mother reiterates the house rules, giving them a stern warning. Rooney guides the kids back to their bedroom, pleading with them to behave well. Just then, Friday returns to them. Thanks to Andy's quick reaction, Friday is kept out of danger, since their biological parents passed away. The two kids and Friday are forced to separate because the foster family doesn't allow pets. In the daytime, Friday often roams the streets and manages to sneak back to reunite with the kids at night. The next day, James and Andy wake up to find Friday gone. They search every corner but discover the dog in the kitchen, desperately scavenging for food. With their foster mother present, they cleverly stall their foster mother by engaging her in conversation, allowing Friday to finish his bacon unnoticed. Just as they begin to relax, the foster father enters, searching for his teeth whitening strips. This unexpected intrusion causes Friday to escape from the specially crafted elevator that James had designed for his daily comings and goings. Driven by the alluring scent of kebabs, Friday chases after the aroma. Unfortunately, luck isn't on his side this time, and he gets caught by the dog catcher. The siblings quickly realize that Friday is missing. They search every corner of their neighborhood and eventually make their way to a pet shop, seeking information from the staff. A boy at the shop informs them that the dog might be at the pound. The siblings soon discover that Friday is indeed trapped there and request his release. However, the man dismisses their pleas, throwing Friday back into the cage. The children are informed that their parents' presence is required to sign the necessary papers. Panic sets in for James when he learns that all unclaimed dogs will be euthanized within 72 hours. Driven by desperation, Andy uses all her money to bribe the man and secure Friday's return. As they journey home, Andy's frustration grows. She reflects on their years hiding Friday to avoid detection and suggests finding a genuine family for him. However, James firmly rejects the idea, asserting that they are Friday's true family. Suddenly, police officers approach them, mistakenly identifying the siblings as thieves. Chaos ensues as the kids flee the scene, with Friday leading them to an abandoned hotel. In the dim light, they spot what appears to be a ghost and prepare to shout, only to discover two dogs emerging from the shadows. Friday quickly befriends the other dogs, who then guide the children upstairs to a surprisingly comfortable bed. James and Andy decide to leave Friday in the hotel with his newfound friends while they themselves continue to pilfer food from their foster family. Unfortunately, their actions are discovered by their foster mother. Faced with limited options, they reluctantly agree to eat the nasty food the woman prepares while secretly planning to continue their food theft. Suddenly, a persistent dog howl fills the city, prompting concerned citizens to report the disturbance and summon the dog catcher. James and Andy rush to the hotel, where they find the large dog howling by the window. To their surprise, they realize that the dog is yearning for the breathtaking view outside. James shares the stolen food with the strays, but their rejection of the unappetizing fare disappoints him. Andy intervenes as he begins to assign names to the dogs, reminding him that attaching names could lead to attachment and significant trouble. In a moment of frustration, Friday pulls out his favorite mat, subtly indicating to the kids that this place is their true home. Reluctantly, Andy agrees to venture out searching for food while James remains behind to watch over the dogs. She reaches the pet shop and shares the heartwarming stories of the strays with Dave, a teenage staff member. Touched by her actions, Dave leads her to a storage room, revealing more abandoned dogs. Andy decides to take three more dogs under her care, and Dave pledges to provide dog food. Meanwhile, James devises a way to keep the dogs entertained and quiet.
he ingeniously crafts an automatic fetching mechanism using brooms. Much to the dog's delight, Dave is impressed by James' skills and immediately expresses interest in joining them. Unbeknownst to them, a girl who works as a pet groomer secretly follows and eagerly wants to be part of their group. Later, James and Andy take their dogs for a walk, which proves to be quite challenging and nearly exposes their secret to their foster mother. While Dave and the girl assist in tidying up the hotel, the teenagers find themselves overwhelmed as the mischievous dogs create chaos. Exhausted and frustrated, they sit together, regretting their impulsive decisions. Just as they are on the brink of giving up, James steps forward, revealing a well-thought-out plan to bring order to the situation. They devise a clever solution by placing the dogs on a treadmill with a bone attached to the front, allowing them to expend their excess energy. A fixed mealtime routine is established, requiring all the dogs to wait in an orderly line for their food. With Friday's assistance, James successfully constructs an automated feeder. The situation appears well under control, save for the challenge of managing the dog's bathroom needs. Through collective effort, they design a luxurious, automated dog toilet system that addresses this concern. Over time, another lonely boy joins their team, driven by the goal of providing a home for all stray dogs. The kids formulate a plan to track and rescue strays from the streets. While Friday and James stay at the hotel, they spy on the dog catcher's device to alert the others about the dog's whereabouts. Their concerted efforts lead to the successful rescue of every stray dog in the city, arousing suspicion among pound personnel due to the sudden decrease in captured dogs. James meticulously maintains a family book chronicling the stories of every dog they rescue. As months pass, the children and their rescued dogs form genuine bonds, creating a new kind of family within the remodeled hotel. They construct a 3D cinema for the dogs, offering them virtual road trip adventures since they cannot venture outside. The dogs frequently form playful lines and engage in activities they had never before experienced during their time on the streets. Rooney makes a return visit to their home, announcing that he's found an ideal foster family for the siblings. Initially pleased, the kids turn down the proposal upon learning it's a three-hour drive away, leaving Rooney speechless. Later, Andy questions Friday about the choices she's made to protect their unique family, receiving a nod of affirmation from the dog. At lunchtime, Friday alerts his fellow canine siblings, and they all gather at the table, patiently lining up for their meal. The sight of their unity reaffirms the siblings' bond and gratitude for one another's support. Andy is invited to a party that evening, leaving James alone at the hotel. However, he feels despondent without his sister's presence. James decides to return to their foster house to procure more electronic appliances for the hotel's repair. Unfortunately, he's caught red-handed, while the foster parents call the police. James escapes and returns to the hotel. Unbeknownst to James, chaos reigns in the hotel. The auto-feeder mechanism has malfunctioned, leading to a dog food frenzy as every canine scrambles for sustenance. Meanwhile, Andy's party experience turns sour when another attendee reveals her orphan status prompting her to flee back to the hotel. Soon after, the police arrive at the hotel to investigate. The kids and dogs hide in a room and turn off the lights, but the large dog's fear of the dark compels him to howl, exposing their location. Before long, all the dogs, including Friday, are apprehended and taken to the pound, awaiting an uncertain fate. Meanwhile, James and Andy find themselves at the police station once again and are reluctantly separated, sent to different city foster homes. James faces constant bullying without his sister, but he doesn't regret his choice to rescue the dogs. Meanwhile, Friday overhears distressing news that the dogs will be euthanized the next day. Desperate to escape, he struggles to break free from his leash, hoping to find his way back to the sibling's former foster home. Sadly, he discovers they've moved on, leaving him searching in vain. After scouring every possible location, Friday stumbles upon Dave's pet shop, leading him to Andy's new foster house. The family reunites and hatches a plan to save the dogs before it's too late. Using a car from the pet shop, James and Andy dangle sausages from the trunk, successfully deceiving the doorkeeper and infiltrating the pound. They release their beloved dogs and set the plan into motion. With Friday leading the pack, the dogs run in pairs, catching the eye of everyone on the streets. Police cars give chase, but just as they approach a bridge to safety, Friday senses the scent of his home sweet home mat in the opposite direction. He swiftly alters course, and the rest of the dogs follow him back to the hotel they now consider home. Chaos erupts as police, the press, and onlookers swarm the hotel. Amidst the confusion, the dog catchers pressure the police to capture the siblings and the dogs. Rooney steps in, sharing their heartwarming story of the bond between the teenagers and the strays. Touched by their tale, the people in the crowd support them, and with the city's generosity, the dog hotel transforms into a genuine place for dogs in need. James, Andy, and Friday find their forever family who cherish and value them. If you like my channel or enjoy watching me dance, please leave a comment in the comment section saying dance.
Adam.